Hi everyone, uh, Mike McGee here at the Clone SBCA. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, last week we talked about the uh, ringworm kittens that are available for adoption. I want to thank everybody who called or came in um, and providing homes for these wonderful cats. Um, I also wanted this week to highlight the, uh, the fact that we also have 75 kittens total looking for homes. Um, throughout the summer months, um, unspayed females end up getting pregnant and uh, producing sometimes very large litters and uh, members of the public bring them to us so we can care for them and then when they get to six, eight weeks of age, they're now available for adoption. We spay and neuter them. Uh, they're given at least their first set of shots with an adoption. You also get a free vet exam and six weeks of health insurance, all for $145. And we have 75 of them who are going to be needing homes and hopefully soon. Uh, we like to get kittens into homes young so they can get socialized and adapted to their new environments and they don't think that this is normal. Hi everyone, the second dog we want to feature this week is Daisy and Daisy is a very, very intelligent red healer cross. Um, if you have any suggestions, feel free to call them in. Um, we're not too picky when we, uh, when we pick breeds for dogs. She's, uh, she's smart like a border collie and uh, very attentive, very intelligent. She came in as a stray. Uh, she was in heat when she came in, so presumably she escaped from her backyard or her leash. She had like a little, um, little clip that was probably attached to a rope or something, and uh, the rope was detached from the clip, and the clip remained on there. And uh, she probably climbed out or escaped somehow. Uh, nobody called for her, surprisingly, and uh, she's now ours. She's spayed and she's available for adoption. Um, she's a little aloof around other dogs. She's not that fond of having them in her space, even though we do have her paired up with the shepherd. And they get along fine. So um, her new home should basically uh, know a little bit about dogs because um, she's so smart. She really needs to be uh, given some jobs to do and some things to think about and be part of the family. Um, she really catches on really quickly. Our dog walkers say that she's fantastic to walk and she's a dream to have in our care. And if you're interested in her, feel free to come into the Cologne SBCA and ask to do I see her. The last dog we want to feature this week is Jig Jig, uh, or known as Ganja. So uh, when she was surrendered uh, about three or four days ago, uh, the owners basically just said that they were moving back to Montreal. They had her since she was a puppy and they just couldn't keep her anymore. So uh, unfortunately for her, she's here at the Cologne Shelter, uh, nine years old, Roddy, 140 pounds. She's a really big girl. Uh, she has been around kids and other dogs, uh, lots of people. I haven't seen any aggression from her. She seems really friendly. She snores really loud. She loves to snort and uh, I know that our community has lots of lovers of this breed and uh, hopefully somebody has it in her heart to uh, come in and rescue this big, lovely, older gal. And uh, thank you for watching this week's segment.